Hello, welcome to the video how to create a forward rule using Microsoft Exchange. Log into Microsoft 365 Admin Center. In the user options, you can see I have these active users. From here, I'm gonna use this support email address in order to generate incidents in Remedy Force. Scroll down in the options section and open Exchange. Before to create the forward rule, let's go to the Recipients option and click on Contacts. Here, we're going to create a new contact and select Mail Contact. Give it a name. In the external email address, copy and paste the email service address located in Remedy Force. From Setup, in the Quick Find box, type Email Services. Open your current email listener record. Scroll down to the email addresses section and copy any of the email addresses. In my case, I'm going to use the support one long Salesforce email address. Go back to its chain and in the mail contact, paste the email address. Save the changes and click on OK. Once we create this mail contact, let's go to the mail flow option. Under rules, let's create a new forward rule. Click on the first option, give it a name, apply this rule if the recipient is, select your support email address and click on add. Do the following, select redirect the message to and select the mail contact that we create previously. Additionally, you can add more conditions in this forward rule. For now, I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to save the changes. Once the forward rule is created, let's test it out. From my account, I'm going to send a new email. Click on the new message. In the to, I'm going to select the support email address. And I'm going to type testing forward rule. Click on send. And now, in Remedy Force Console, I'm going to click on Refresh. And as you can see, this new incident record has been created. Click on the Details tab. Scroll down to the Action History. And there you go. You can see this incident record was created when we sent an email from my account to the support company address. This concludes the video how to create a forward rule using Microsoft Exchange. Thank you for watching.